mining is an economic engine of the country. It creates tens of billions of dollars every year. Our core job as a fabrication facility is to take care of the big pieces of equipment that make a mine run operationally effectively. Large buckets, large truck boxes, and we even have a crew of people that goes on to the mine site that helps maintain the mill operations as well. Back in roughly about 1992, I was a grade 10 student. So we had many family discussions about uh, starting up a business that was gonna cater specifically to buckets. <laughs> Over time, I was able to move the family along with that thinking. About a year later, we opened up shop and we started with two people. I was the third person to come in as a co-op student. And uh, 25 years later, I'm basically still here. That's come down to culture. That's come down to team. And, and just everybody believing and buying into, you know, where we're headed as a family business. We've had tremendous support provincially from the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund and federally from FedNor to inject finances into the tens of millions of dollars that the Woodward family put into growing this facility. We've expanded now to include truck boxes. We've expanded to include mill work and we've expanded to offer services to our clients. We've grown into a new facility that sits on 15 acres and occupies almost 90,000 square feet. We've grown to over 100 employees and we've grown into the mining sector to support mining growth throughout Northern Ontario. This is our brake press. It's a 780 ton uh, brake press. It's four feet in the ground, got a 16 foot bed. Uh, anything that we build here is all basically starts from a flat plate format here. It comes in on the brake press. We're now in charge of our own destiny 100%. It's all about attracting the talent. Employment options in Timmins, they helped me out to get this job here. I have like a college diploma from Northern College. Prior to that, I have like an engineering degree in, from India. In 2007, I did a um, two-year welding and fabricating course in Sudbury at Collège Boréal. And Paul hired me right after that, so I've been here ever since. We fully recognize that students coming out of secondary and post-secondary education are not gonna have all of the things that they need to enter industry. It's our job as a, as a family business, as, as a employer, to close that job readiness gap and give them the tools and the training that they need to be successful in this industry. I got, yeah, a, a little training, but uh, yeah, I got to learn by myself also because I didn't know nothing about metal thickness, uh, the hardness of the plate. Uh, I didn't know nothing about that. And Caroline has been a role model employee since, uh, since she came on board eight years ago with us. She's responsible for the daily running, maintenance and upkeep of this piece of equipment and the division and everything that goes on in this bay is really hers. I'm still here, so <laughs> I guess I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Northern Ontario is paying far better than Southern Ontario for the same capability and up to two times. Some of the old guys are starting to retire and we're going to need some, some young blood out there for sure. I come from Southern Ontario, so moving up here was the best thing that ever happened for me. Just the outdoors and the activities and, and the amount of things you can do as a family. I earned something from this community and I want to give back so I joined in like Lions Club. They helped me out like to participate in many programs and events they conducted. They tell me all stories about team events and stuff and I was so excited to be in that club. Northerners have their own culture and I mean it's a really laid back community but uh, when it comes to getting things done in the workplace there's you know there's a new approach to that. The community here is very pleasing. People are more familiar, more like social, more like helpful. I really feel like I'm at home here. When we look at the future growth opportunities of the mining sector, the next 40 to 100 years looks incredibly optimistic. Timmins will become a mini Fort Mac in, in a short period of time. Opportunity for people to come north, opportunity for uh, youth in the trades to be making six figure you know, incomes and in, within a year or two after graduation. It's never ending job. Like I always have something to cut, it's go, go, go. We need to get things out of the door as quick as we can. There's new mines opening around here. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities. My mission really has been to surround myself with people that are smarter than me. Here you are safe because it's stable. That makes me happy, my wife happy, my son happy, everybody happy. It's a family of entrepreneurs that are willing to take calculated risks and invest the money in either the facility or the people or the products 
that helps the sector grow. Empowering people to, you know, make decisions. That way they're more involved in the solution and it's worked very, very well. Everyone's friendly. I love it.